hey, hey, happy hump day. I'm gonna walk you through four lower body movements that you can do for a strength workout without using weights, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you, I would say most of the time it's preferable to have resistance other than your own body for a strength workout, but we don't always have weights. We don't always wanna be like using the soup cans or like the bag of sand and shit like that, you know, like I get it, you know? Sometimes you want something simple that you can do when you're on the move, you're traveling, you're living out of your car, whatever it is, right? So four moves, strength training, lower body, in honor of hump day, because why not? Let's go, right? So we're gonna begin with an eccentric focus squat. And that just means that we're gonna head down super slow and then head up out of your squat at what I would consider to be the normal pace that you might come up from a squat, right? So a couple things to keep in mind before we get started. Feet are gonna be about shoulder width apart here, right? Maybe a little bit wider. You're gonna figure out your distance according to your body, really, at the end of the day here. Toes can be slightly pointed out here, and we're gonna brace our core before we begin. Take a breath in at the top, and we're gonna lower down for about three counts. One, two, three, squatting down. Exhaling as you come up to standing. Remember, you're keeping your feet planted, rooted right in the ground for the duration of the squat. One, two, three, down, and exhale as you come up. Just for extra measure, we'll give you the side view. Again, you're bracing, right? You don't want to be doing one of these. Tuck it in. One, two, three, and up. Second move is going to be a lunge, a reverse lunge. If you trained with me, you probably do lunges a few times per week. Now, why lunges, right? The idea here, especially as part of our body weight workout, is that your lunge is upping the ante from your squat, right? You're squatting on one leg versus two. It's a way to increase your intensity, make it more challenging without adding weight. So. Two things to keep in mind for your lunge are that you want to make sure that front knee is not caving, right? Probably heard that before. To do that, what I like to tell people, what I like to remind myself, is to face that front toe outward a little bit to help my knee track right over my toe. So instead of thinking straight ahead, maybe angle your foot out just slightly, come down into your lunge. Now, it's all about control. So let your back knee brush or come close to brushing the ground. Step behind instead of falling forward, right? You wanna control yourself downward, stepping fully into that front foot. Lunge will be your second move. Okay, I actually just took a break to eat a bacon, egg, and cheese, and it was wonderful. And it's like 20 degrees hotter outside. But the third movement is gonna be a hinge. We're gonna do a hinge with a reach. So we're gonna start with our feet facing straight ahead, standing up nice and tall. You're gonna lead backwards with your bootay, okay? So my, my butt is gonna slide behind as I raise my arms. As you do that, you should feel like a little bit of tension in your hamstrings, right? Down along the back of your legs. Now, to make this a little bit more difficult, we're gonna do a single leg hinge. And if that feels like it might be a little bit too wobbly, your middle ground, your baby bear version of this, let's say it's gonna be a split stand. So my back foot is on the ground, but I'm still working on that front leg as I raise my arms, coming all the way back up to standing, breathing out on the way up. I'm gonna finish out with a sunny glute bridge. Now, two things to keep in mind are gonna be to dig your heels into the ground. Your toes can come up, but dig those heels in, nice and firm, baby, and you're gonna send your ribs down towards your pelvis. So see, I'm kind of like clenching my abs before I begin. Place your hands on the ground, breathe in, and we'll exhale as we bridge up, reset down, exhale, nice strong bridge up, pulling those hips up towards the sky. I am so sweaty. Happy hump day.